addicts, welcome back to the American Girl Addiction. It is after Christmas and I just got the Nutcracker set because I'm cheap and I waited for it to go on sale. I wanted to give you guys kind of a reaction in case there's any way you can get it so you can kind of look at it because I didn't really see many reactions to it up or reviews of it so that's what I'm doing. Alright, so the shoes are really cute. You can probably see them here. They kind of remind me of like Felicity's colonial shoes, which I think they're supposed to. So it'll be really nice to have multiple types of this shoe. I have like a couple other penny loafer type things. And they're really good for when I want to do like an old timey video. Here we have the reason I spent $60 to buy this set. I'm mostly kidding. But this sword is amazing. I'm so happy to finally have an American Girl sword because I love swords and I love American Girl and I love when my passions come together. It's really nice and realistic looking. It doesn't look super cheapy like or plasticky like some things I've seen online. It kind of glistens in the light and the gold hilt is really nice. It's very fancy. I love it. All right, we have this Mouse King crown and ear set. It'll be interesting to see how well these stay in the doll's ear. I've seen some people use them, and they seem to stay in pretty well. I know with my dolls, the headbands tend to fall out because they're too heavy, but I'm looking forward to working with these. All right, so now we have the accessories for the Little Land of the Sweets doll. We have this headband. This one's a lot thinner than the other one, so again, I'll be interested in seeing how that works. Very cute. I actually have one of these from the previous Nutcracker sets, so now I have more, and I guess you can hold them, one in both hands. And we have these little slippers, little ballet slippers. I have some somewhat similar to these from previous dancer dolls, but they're really neat the way they did the string here. Because a lot of them are just slipping, so these look slightly more realistic. Alright, now for the big part, I guess you could say, if I can get it out. Alright, here are the outfits. Let's do Miss Land of the Sweets first. Okay, so it is a separate outfit, I think. I wondered about that, if it was a dress or if it was like a skirt set. So we have this little gorgeous skirt oh my gosh this kind of reminds me of mary poppins actually the white and the red it's so cute very sparkly it's nice and thick too very nice and then we have this little candy cane striped leotard with the little fur collar yeah velcro in the back it's i'm gonna have to be really careful this because i think it's probably going to be very, it's kind of silky fabric, so I think it's going to be very susceptible to, like, picks with the Velcro. Here's the boy outfit. Okay, so this is separate as well. And I say boy because I have so many dolls. I'm, I'm putting this on a boy. Like, Mouse King, it's the king, so it's got to be a boy. So, oh. Oh, this is so soft. I love the velvet and I love the design here. It's just excellent quality. The pants are really nice too. So, okay, the cape is detachable. That's nice because I had one outfit, not from American Girl, where the cape was not detachable and it destroyed the doll's hair every time I put it on. So, it basically never changes dolls. So, this is this something that's tucked in or is this sewn in? Let me. I think this is just something they wear on the neck. So let me take, okay, yeah. So this, these are detachable. This is Velcro. Okay, so it Velcros in the front. That is interesting. Did it come out of focus? It has a separate tag, so I'm guessing it's detachable. All right, so let me take these off the little cardboard things and I'll give you some of my thoughts. It was detachable. Okay, so here is this little, is it called a doublet? I don't know enough about old fashioned clothing. So this piece is nice. I'm gonna enjoy like mixing and matching the pieces. 
These pants are nice. It'd be so funny. The reds kind of match here. So that will be interesting. I really, the jacket is just, is incredible. And this is going to appear in a lot of my stop motions, I think, especially like the old timey ones, because it's very nice. So you have this detachable cloak with this little thing that goes around the neck. But then you have this sash. It's Velcro right here. So you open that and then you put it on the doll like this. You unvelcro this part and it just looks very nice. I am incredibly impressed. I'm glad I was able to get this because like alone, just the jacket and the sword and like the shoes, just, just half of this outfit was worth $60. So very satisfied to get the whole thing.